there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome. This is your weekly love reading for this week of December 18th to the 24th. Keep in mind that time is fluid and stick around towards the end, Leo. I will be getting each zodiac signs, feelings, and actions towards you for the week. Leo Plus for December is all out. If you want to check out individual love readings for Leo Plus each zodiac sign, you can find that on the channel. Let's get started into it here, Leo, and see what's coming your way for the week and what spirit wants you to be aware of in your love life. Here we go. First card out is we have recognition. We also have divine feminine. And we have mask. Ooh, okay. I, I see what's going on right away. Male or female, it doesn't matter. I feel like someone wants more of your attention. They just don't know how to ask for it with the mask card here. Leo, I feel like somebody wants more of your time, your effort, your energy. Specifically, they want to feel more acknowledged by you. And I feel like this person... I kind of get that a part of them wants to bring it up, that they want more of your attention, but then another part of them is not saying it. So I feel like this person that's around you is hiding that they want more of your attention. They want more of your communication, whatever the case may be. Let's see what else we have happening here. We have spiritual awakening. We have playfulness, and we have attraction. Wow. All right, Leo. So you have somebody extremely, extremely, extremely attracted to you. This person is awakening to the fact that you are someone that could possibly be their divine feminine, their divine masculine, whatever the case may be. This person is all about you. It's like you, 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 Leo. They want things to move forward with you. They want to restore the sense of love with you. They want to give you more attention and get more of your attention. And I feel like for a lot of you Leos, this could slightly be a secret admirer energy for some of you. If you are a single Leo and you're not connecting to anyone, but there is a slight eye on someone, you could be picking up on this person greatly because I definitely feel like for a lot of you, if you are not connecting to somebody who just wants more of your attention in general, I feel like this person just in a very general way just wants more of your attention in terms of knowing that you're interested in them too. So it's almost like somebody wants to know if they're, if you're interested in them, like they're interested in you, but they like don't know how to approach that just yet. But let's see if they figure it out. Let's see what the tarot has here for you. Leo, first card out is the Hermit with Seek. We also have the Two of Swords with Refusing to See. Yeah, the, this person is definitely letting their insecurities get the best of them. And we also have Choose Your Battles with the Seven of Wands. Yeah. So, Leo, you, you know, you look like your attention and your acknowledgement towards people, it, it costs... It, there's, there's, a, there's a price to it. You know, you just don't give your attention away. You're just not attracted to just anyone. You don't, um, you know, you don't flirt or maybe come across in that way to just anyone. And I feel like this person feels that. But if you are in a relationship, I get two storylines here. So if you are in a relationship or connecting to somebody or there's a process in connecting to somebody... I feel like they just want more from you, but you look very to yourself. You do. Um, but you do have the seven of wands here. So I do feel like you could be giving them something, but it's like they want more. They want more, but they don't know how to approach you in getting it. So let's clarify here. Yeah, you. you some of you, honestly... Um, there could be somebody that's around you that's trying to drop some hints. I'm not necessarily sure you're seeing the hints that well. Um, 
Maybe you're not even wanting to acknowledge the hints. Uh, let's see. The Hermit here with the Page of Pentacles. The Two of Swords with the Nine of Cups. And the Seven of Wands to Judgment. Your advice for this week is the Two of Pentacles. And your outcome for love is the Magician. The ball is in your court, Leo. So with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like this person is going to drop some hints to you this week that they want more of your attention or they want to know if you're interested in them more. I feel like they're going to do it in a very unique way because I feel like it's not super obvious, but they're doing that on purpose. It's like they don't want to seem too obvious and trying to know if you like them too, or they don't want to seem too obvious that they want more of your time and attention. It's like this person doesn't want to be viewed as an attention seeker, but they are definitely energetically coming in as seeking your attention. So let's clarify this here. It looks like you are this person's wish fulfillment, but like some of you don't see that you're this person's wish fulfillment. Um, I feel like they're going to drop hints. I definitely feel like this week they're going to drop some hints towards you. They may even say, maybe this person wants you to take them out more. They want to do some more things with you. Page of Pentacles would be that. Um, planning to do more things and they're just kind of like, hey, Leo, you know, if you're in a relationship and your person just randomly sends you like a new restaurant or a restaurant that they heard, that's them dropping hints that they want to go to this restaurant, you know, like stuff like that. So let's clarify. Page of Pentacles to the Five of Swords, Nine of Cups to the Two of Wands, Judgment to the Four of Cups. Two of Pentacles with your advice and the Chariot and the Magician. Ah, I see what's going on. And the King of Wands. All right. You know, for single Leos, I almost feel like some of you are like newly single or like it tr still transitioning out of a relationship. And I feel like you have a new person that is interested in you around you. But it, some of you, with your advice here, with the Two of Pentacles and the Chariot, it looks like some of you are still, like, moving on from something else. Some of you, there could be a slight unreadiness in starting something right away. Um, but you have the Magician here to the King of Wands. So it looks like you've manifested yourself in someone who is all about you. Their attraction towards you is through the roof. This person wants to nurture this connection. They want to see it grow. Some of you, they are a fire sign with the King of Wands coming in. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Cancer, Virgo coming in as well. But the King of Wands did come on your outcome with the Magician. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you Leos here, there is going to be movement in your love life that is going to be a result on if you take certain hints from certain people <laughs> and um you know some of you may be like well that's not my place to do so be straightforward I'm not I'm not you know someone who has to have my magnifying glass on and figure out what hints people are dropping the whole time this person feels a need to drop hints and that's why I definitely do feel like some of you could be transitioning or newly single and this person could be fearful and like putting it on to you too heavy that they're interested in you. Now, I'm going to split this up because I definitely feel like if you are in a relationship here, there's almost like this iffiness on like, okay, will this connection strive forward? Will more attention even save this connection? Or is it just going to renew the cycle? So I definitely feel like for a lot of you in relationships, there is definitely going to be some movement in this individual you're with wanting to quote unquote try harder to make this connection work. But I'm not necessarily sure if it's like what you want. You know, when you get attention from someone and it's like too late and you're like, well, if you did all this when I wanted you to, then maybe... Um, I kind of get that. Some of you may be getting attention or resurfacing effort from someone and you're just like, look, I'm over it already. I've been moved on. Um, but nonetheless, somebody's going to try to vie for more of your time, 
more of your attention, specifically more of your attention. It's like they want you to answer back faster. They want you to respond more. They want you to talk more. They want you to express more. But you don't look that open in expressing. <laughs> I mean, you don't. So they're going to try to get it out of you. I want to see, why is the magician here to the king of wands? The ace of cups. Some of you, there's definitely new love around you. And that's why you're not giving attention to a certain person who's trying to drop hints. Some of you, I almost feel like you have a past person and a new person both trying to drop hints towards you. And you may have to decide who you want to engage with. Really. But your outcome is new love or renewed sense of love here. Where I feel like this individual is definitely going to try harder. I, I get a try harder energy for some reason. So I feel like someone's either going to try harder to stay in this relationship with you. Try harder to make this relationship work. Try harder to get another chance with you. Or this person's going to definitely try harder and dropping hints that are more obvious to you. So in terms of zodiac signs and the spread that are around or could be in your chart... Um, I think I said them already, but I'll say them one more time. You have Gemini, Cancer, and Virgo. So let's move through to your next portion of the reading. All the way from Aries to Pisces. Please show me each zodiac sign's future actions. I'm sorry. Feelings for Leo. Spirit, please show me all the way from Aries to Pisces, each zodiac sign's future actions towards Leo for the week. All right, let's see here, Leo. Take what resonates with this portion as well. Leave the rest behind. Keep in mind, this is a weekly, so if you feel it doesn't resonate now, come back at the end of the week. Things change. So let's see what we got going on. We have Aries feelings for you. You came closer than anyone and the devil so I feel like Aries is like slightly obsessed over you and or possessive about you. Um, I feel like there could be a unhealthy and or slightly toxic type of connection between the two of you. They are indicating that they let you closer than they let anybody else in their life. Um, but it definitely looks like you two still have healing processes to go through and or individual processes to go through until healed. And can come in alignment. I feel like um, I feel like this Aries is going to try to tempt you back in. Um, but it could not be the greatest tempting situation. It could be more or less for their own satisfaction over the whole of the connection. Um, next up is we have Taurus. I know that I crossed the line with you and the King of Swords. So some of you feel very cut off by a Taurus or you cut off a Taurus. They know that they crossed the line here with you that resulted in some sort of distance and it looked distance and it looks like they are going to try to say to themselves with this king of swords, ten of pentacles, they could have done something in the home or some sort of home situation could have been involved between the two of you, but it definitely looks like things could be, um, it's like too heavy and too burdensome between you and Taurus at the moment. We also have Gemini. I knew exactly what I was doing and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like Gemini is going to try to be generous towards you this week. Um, the fact that the Six of Pentacles is matched up with this card gives me a slight calculated energy. So I feel like for a lot of you, <sighs> Gemini may have been withholding their time, attention, and effort from you. And they knew what they were doing when they were withholding it from you. And it's like, now they're going to give you more of their time and effort and generosity this week. But I almost weirdly feel like it has something to do with being calculated. So I'm not necessarily sure you should trust it. If they are super, super neglecting one day and then super on top of you the next day, I definitely feel like there could be something off with that. Next up is we have Cancer. I am so attracted to you and the Knight of Wands. So Cancer is definitely interested in moving this connection forward. They're coming in. They're wanting your attention. Um, Knight of Wands, they could come in fast or all of a sudden. Um, some of you, this is a resurfacing Cancer and they're coming back into your life. 
Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer who's slightly inconsistent, but it definitely looks like this week they're coming back in with a strong attraction energy towards you. Next up is Leo. You speak to me through music and the Seven of Swords. Some of you have avoided a connection with a Leo because you feel like you cannot trust them. Some of you, vice versa, a fellow Leo feels like they couldn't trust you. Somehow, some way, they are hearing some sort of songs, melodies, or tunes that remind them of you. Um, but it does look like there's still some avoidance this week. Next up is we have Virgo. I'm starting to understand our connection and the Seven of Cups. So it looks like Virgo is contemplating their feelings here. And I feel like as they sit in a contemplative state, they are starting to understand that this connection means something to them. Let's see the Seven of Cups of the Eight of Wands. All right, so it looks like there's... Virgo is going to decide to initiate a conversation with you here. So definitely strong communication energy between you and Virgo. May definitely be talking about something to get clarity on it. Or they may clear things up with this conversation, it looks like. Libra. I know I was a distraction from your pain and the Nine of Cups. A lot of you wish, uh, receiving wish fulfillment from a Libra this week. Some of you, a Libra may feel like used by you in a sense as a distraction from some sort of pain that you went through, but nonetheless, you are getting some sort of wish fulfillment from them. Four of Cups. Some of you have been feeling ignored by a Libra and you definitely will not feel ignored by them this week. Next up is Scorpio. Just being near you is intoxicating and the Queen of Swords. So I feel like Scorpio could be putting on slight, putting on a slight front where they make it seem like they're distant and they're slightly detached, but in all actuality, they do want to be near you. Um, so I do feel like that could be the dynamic between you and Scorpio this week, where they kind of act like they don't care, but they actually do. Queen of Swords with strength. Yeah, it's like they're pulled back, but they don't want to be pulled back that much. So I feel like they may want more of your attention. Um, next up is we have Sagittarius. I wish things could be different and the Page of Swords. So I definitely feel like Sagittarius is watching you very strongly. I definitely feel like Sagittarius is in a position of wanting to have questions answered by you. I feel like they have questions for you and they want them to be answered. But for now, they're just watching you from... The bushes, watching you in the shadows here, watching your social media. They wish things could be different. And I feel like they wish things could be different in the sense of having clarity on this connection and or whatever's going on here, having a change. Next up is Capricorn. I wish I had treated you better and the star. So it definitely looks like Capricorn is wishing and hoping for healing here between the two of you. The star to the Knight of Wands. I mean, I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands. And the Page of Pentacles. All right, so Capricorn definitely got an offer here for you. Um, they're wishing that they had treated you better. So I definitely feel like this could be an apologetic offer where they want to restart this connection. They are highly attracted towards you and they are feeling as though you are their wish fulfillment and they want this to work with you. Some of you, they may even indicate, sorry, some of you Capricorn may even indicate that they'll treat you better this time around. They could actually even say those words, but with the Page of Pentacles, they definitely want to plan to see you or restart this connection. Sorry, I don't know why I picked up the next card while I was still talking about the other one before. It's like my mind is, or my, like my body's moving faster than my mind right now. Sorry. Okay, Aquarius. I lost myself for a little while and the Three of Swords, so definitely heartbreak and pain involved between you and Aquarius. Could have been a third-party situation that caused an ending here with the world. They're indicating that they lost themselves here, and with the King of Cups, I feel like they're trying to find themselves again and kind of come back to themselves with the Page of Cups here, I do feel like you will eventually get a message from this Aquarius. I feel like more so into more of like next week. I clarified pretty deep here. Um, but they feel the need to make peace with you. And lastly, we have Pisces towards you, Leo. My life is not as together as it seems and the Two of Cups. So it definitely looks like Pisces could be putting on a slight front that their life is as together as it's supposed to be when all actuality it's not. 
they are definitely interested in coupling up with you or staying connected to you here with the two of cups the two of wands it looks like they're anticipating to what's to come next the tower the six of swords whoa what's going on here the four of swords you know i feel like for some of you you and pisces may have had like a sudden ending where you two were connected pretty strongly and then all of a sudden you weren't. I feel like there could be a reconnect for this type of energy that could come in throughout the month of December. Because it looks like they want to stay connected to you, um, but there's also a need to find healing. So there could have been something sudden that disrupted this connection. Um, but it looks like this week they're focusing on healing with themselves. But I feel like they want to couple up with you again or at least be peaceful with you. But it doesn't look like they're going to take action towards doing that. Hmm. That took a turn. Okay, so let's make sure everyone's out here for you, Leo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Leos, for being here and for watching. Do not forget to check out Leo Plus on the channel. And if you're interested in cross-watching any of these zodiac signs, head to my main Miss Machiste channel is where you will find readings for all 12 zodiac signs where you can cross watch your other chart placements as well as cross watch one of these zodiac signs you will also be at the end of their reading in their all signs portion if you want to compare the rest of the zodiac signs on my main channel will go out this week so subscribe and ring the bell there so you get alerted Thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Leos. I hope you have a good week ahead. I love each and every one of you out there, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.